on this episode of ANA TV. Army Navy celebrates Kindness Week, and we check in with Coach Cook in the varsity basketball team. Plus soccer and surf team highlights, and we'll have a report on Army Navy's trip to Florida for the Gurian Institute. I'm Jackson Sproul. And I'm Caleb Morris. ANA TV starts now. Welcome back Army Navy. We begin this episode with a look at Army Navy's commitment to creating a kind community. The campus celebrated Random Acts of Kindness Week, an event coordinated by the Counseling Department which included activities all throughout the week. With more information, here's our reporter Samuel Gindi. Kindness Week was wrapped up last Friday as students and faculty got to experience a very fun way of expressing kindness to one another. The week featured fun and uplifting music over the intercom. Students were able to write nice things to each other on a post-it note and post those comments on a kindness wall. Lead counselor Christy Brown explains the significance of being nice to one another. Kindness Week is actually a national week. It's called RAC Week and it stands for Random Acts of Kindness. We asked everyone to write a kind or positive thing on a post-it note and put it on um, a, a large sheet of paper. So each student will have at least um, you know, 40 kind things that other people are saying on post-it notes in the company. Kindness Week was instituted as a way to help students feel welcome at the academy. If students aren't feeling like uh, they're maybe as accepted here, we're hopeful that this week can really provide students to be kind and nice to each other so everyone feels accepted and welcomed here at the academy. Despite some early reservations, students at Army-Navy have rallied around the cause. Reporting for Annie TV, I'm Ali Asi. We're here with Gunnery Sergeant Charles Gunther, a.k.a. Captain Kindness himself. Um, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing well. Good morning. Sir, could you please uh, tell me what kindness is to you? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think kindness is kind of something that I've really tried to embody my whole life uh, to represent. I think it's important to... Uh, Okay, um, sir, there's a rumor going around campus, I'm not sure if you heard it or not, your middle name is actually Kindness, is that true? Uh, it's not officially, uh, it, actually my official name is Kindly, it'd be nice for you at least to say thank you once. That's what June 6th is for. This is kind. Mm, when no. am I not kind? Let's see, we Maybe have Friday Study Hall, That's we have fine. Friday Demerits. That's we have fine. Thursday, we have Wednesday, we have Tuesday, okay. we have Monday. Kind. kind Occasionally kind. Sunday. Occasionally Sunday. I'm, a, I'm at my kindness list. When you're not here? In the spirit of kind this week, um, your salt and pepper is looking very salt and peppery this week. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And that crease that you have, that... That's right here, sir. Yeah, that, that, uh, part that you pronounced have. line line right right that line that because you can't have a natural part like some of us you have to put your own sure, in. sir that's balding not no, 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 that's <laughs> last month a group of army navy teachers administrators and staff traveled to florida to visit the prestigious durian institute the goal is to learn strategies to better educate young men in a single gender environment Director of Studies Lisa Basista and Commandant Colonel Batul explain further. We chose nine members from a and It represented a cross-section of our teachers, counselors, and tax. The great purpose of this cross-section was that it will help us propagate the best practices we learned at the Institute. Boys' brains are different. Uh, since the Academy is an all-boy military boarding school, we, we learn many techniques that will help our staff make learning, leading, and growing more profitable. Well, again, first off, we learned that many of the strategies we use already inside and outside of the classroom are working. We learned the brain science behind it. Um, we also cemented our relationship with the Gurian Institute and are really excited that we'll be a model school uh, come next September. Uh, I think you've probably seen already some of the strategies used in the classroom. We're implementing more competition, more of that boy-friendly um, 
they like we learned they like to throw things. So you may be tossing balls as part of a review period now. Uh, so again, we're real excited to to keep going with this initiative. Now to sports. Army Navy basketball faces off against Bishops on their senior night. This past Friday was our basketball senior night. The seniors include Jackson Sproul, Caleb Morris, Kevin Zhang, David Wong, and Evan White. The Warriors are currently 22 and four and eight and two in league. The Warriors travel to Bishops tonight. Tip off is at 7 p.m. Soccer senior night was last night. The team fought hard, scoring the opening goal, taking a one nothing lead, but eventually lost four to two to Calvin Christian. Rodrigo Valle brought the Warriors to within one late in the game, but the Warriors could not find the equalizer. Army Navy finishes the regular season 7-10 and, and awaits their postseason fate on Saturday. Middle school baseball starts this week. Here's Chris Mang with the deets. The middle school baseball team just started practice on the 17th and many middle schoolers are anxious for this season. Craig Matthews returns as the head coach again this season. He talks about his goals for the year and what you need in order to play. I hope that uh, we come together as a team and uh, play as a team. Um, and have fun. That's the first and foremost uh, most important thing is to have fun out here. Uh, a &A, at A&A we provide 90% uh, of the equipment for the kids. The uh, only thing I uh, ask them to get is an A&A &A hat um, and that's about it. Everything else we provide. Bats, gloves, all that good stuff. The team has a number of players who return for their second year at the Army and Navy Academy. They have high hopes for another successful season just like their coach. Yeah, I think uh, we got a good group of kids and I, um, I think we're going to do very well this year. Spring is always an exciting time of year and baseball is always a sport middle schoolers look forward to playing. This is Chris Mang reporting for ANA TV. That will do it for this episode of ANA TV. Until next time, I'm Jackson Sproul. And I'm Caleb Morris. Thanks for watching.